My name is Amy Cannon, and I'm the executive director and co-founder of Beyond Benign, a nonprofit dedicated to green chemistry education. How do you describe a typical day at work? Part of our work is really to change the way that chemistry is taught and practiced, and that um, can't be done alone. So we, I do a lot of talking with partners, potential um, funders, and really trying to make the case for the value of, of what we're doing and what, why it's so essential in our work. So I would say I do a lot of talking um, to different organizations and working with partners on our, uh, towards our goal. What skills or education brought you to this job? So I'm a chemist by training. Um, I, I, I developed a passion for sustainability, um, for environmental science early on. We'd say it was in um, junior high school here in Goffstown, New Hampshire. And um, I got very passionate about environmental issues when I learned about, um, it was actually specifically ozone depletion, for a science fair at our junior senior high school. And I, I developed a deep passion for really solving these problems, understanding these problems, and building awareness of these problems. Um, I didn't realize at the time uh, how to exactly go about solving some of these problems. <laughs> And when I um, got into college, which my, my college uh, career path was really determined more on athletics than it was academics at the time, and it ended up being a wonderful choice um, where I went to undergrad at St. Anselm College locally here. And um, I, was, I was recruited to play basketball, um, and at the time I, I, was, I still had that passion for sustainability. So when I arrived at St. Anselm College, they didn't have an environmental science major, which ended up being a very good thing because I, I decided that to follow my passion for the environment, I would either study chemistry or biology. And I had a wonderful chemistry high school teacher who really inspired, um, she really made the subject fun. So I chose chemistry and I studied chemistry at St. Anselm College. Um, and I, I figured that I could, in, <laughs> later on, use my chemistry skills to help study um, environmental problems. And um, it ended up being a really great decision. It was a wonderful program over at St. Anselm, and it really helped build a foundation for my current work um, in green chemistry. What made you co-found a company? So I saw that there was a gap in chemistry education. Um, so us chemists are typically not trained to understand anything about hazards um, and toxicity. We're trained to work in a lab safely, but we're not trained to understand how to address ha hazard in our practice. And that turns out to be tremendously powerful if us chemists can use um, an understanding of hazards and environmental impact in that design stage of a product life cycle, it's at the earliest stages of that product, r regardless of the chemical product. If we can address sustainability there in that stage, then we don't have to worry about generating waste, generating hazards further on down. So I saw an opportunity to address that gap um, for chemists because it has tremendous to uh, potential to address sustainability very early. So I co-founded Beyond Benign, um, an, uh, an organization that's dedicated to really changing the way we teach and practice chemistry throughout our education systems. What path brought you to STEM? Early on, I was um, encouraged and um, I was encouraged to do things like math and science. And I think that's really important from, you know, being a young girl, it's, it's uh, particularly as growing up, um, you know, girls were underrepresented in the sciences. That's getting less and less to be the case these days, but I think that it was so important. Um, my dad was an engineer by training, um, but also had, you know, deep roots in athletics. So I, I, I resonated with that because I had that as well. Um, and I think that, you know, math, science, those things, uh, while, they, while they did sort of come easy to me, I was very much encouraged in my family 
And then there was also some wonderful, wonderful teachers along the way. Um, my high school teacher in Goffstown was a wonderful, uh, she was a wonderful inspiration. And then I had some really fantastic professors who supported my, my, my passions in environmental science and, and then later in green chemistry. Um, so I think educators have been just uh, a really foundational support in really advancing uh, and inspiring my career. Why did you bring your company to Manchester's Mill Yard? If you think back of the history of the mills, um, it's all about creating and creation and, inv and inventing new, new products, um, new materials. I mean, and that, it, I think seeing that advance here to, towards technology, towards um, the sciences, I think that's tremendous. Uh, it has tremendous potential, but it's rooted in that foundation of creating products and creating materials. Manchester has a unique mix of being a, a larger city, but still have that small feel where you have those personal connections. Um, and you really, and I think that's, that's really important, particularly in mentoring and um, inspiring, you know, future, sci future scientists, future STEM uh, professionals. You know, having those personal relationships are really important. So um, having a, a smaller feel to it, I think, is powerful. What do you see for opportunities for STEM growth in Manchester? Technology is always advancing. Um, we, we have a focus of, you know, having a sustainability lens on that. Um, you know, that we're always looking for better ways of creating products and materials. We've come a long way and we now know much more about the impacts of uh, science and technology. And just really understanding that and using that at, actually as an innovation tool. And then there's just tremendous potential for that innovative spirit, you know, to come in and, and find even new challenges to address and new problems to address, um, hopefully through a lens of sustainability. Because I think the future of STEM is really, has to have sustainability in mind um, uh, in order to build out a future that is healthy and safe for humans and the planet.